Hey, and welcome back to Raccoon Creek Homestead. We are on day three, three of our sourdough starter. And today is the first day that we are going to feed it. So here we go. And also I'm kind of tall, I guess, compared to the cabinet. So we're gonna roll with it. Okay, so I have my starter and I mentioned it smelling like kind of bready where yeasty it does not it does not smell good it kind of smells kind of stinky in my opinion and i can smell it from here so if you do that we're gonna assume that it's okay but it's kind of kind of separated a little bit but it's really really liquidy so i'm gonna stir it before oh and i did some re reading and it is perfectly okay to stir it. It's actually kind of a good thing if you can get over the smell, but it's because um, it adds oxygen to the mix. Okay, so for day three, we are gonna remove one fourth cup of starter so I have my one fourth cup and I'm just, it's so liquidy. I'm just gonna pour it. Okay, so there's my one fourth cup of starter that we are gonna remove. And then we are gonna add a fourth cup, which I'm messy. So I'm just gonna put that and it says warm filtered water. I put this quarter cup in the microwave for about 10 seconds. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna stir. And again, if you have wood over metal, wood was preferred. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of unbleached all purpose flour. So I have my half cup. And it's getting a little thick, but it's still not as thick as it was on that day one. Okay, so we are also, so that's it. That is day three. That is also like day three and beyond. We're gonna take a quarter cup of the starter out and we're gonna add the quarter cup of the warm filtered water and the half a cup of unbleached all purpose flour. And then I'm gonna put that on cause it really does not smell good. And if you're forgetful like me and think, oh, I'm probably gonna like forget the date. I wrote it on mine um, with a dry erase marker. So when I'm done with it, I can just erase it or put a label on it. I haven't decided yet. I wanna make sure that I don't kill it before I do anything permanent. Um, and it says to for day three, watch for signs of activity, larger bubbles, and a hungry starter that's thinner in texture. And then like I said, day four and day five, it says your starter might have a strong smell when you open it, and that's normal, which mine had a pretty strong smell today. Um, but again, we're gonna do the same thing tomorrow. We're gonna do the same thing on day five, which I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and post day three, which you'll be seeing now. Um, I'm gonna do day four and day five together just because it's the same thing. It's the same thing we did today. It'll be the same thing that we do the next couple days because day five, we will see if if it's usable yet. Um, on the research that I did, you can, it's possible, but it's better if you go a few more days out. So we will see, but I will see you in two days on day, the end of day five. And hopefully our sourdough is still going and growing. And I hope to see you guys then.